What's up guys? The other day I got a message from at build started about string equality. Now the issue was about the differences when comparing strings using the equality operator and the equals method when null values are involved. Now there's always been a lot of confusion about string equality so I started looking into it to find out what was going on. So first off let's look at a code example. Now starting off we have four string variables. A1 and A2 are both set to the same string value and A4 and A5 are both set to nulls. Now down below, we have a series of equality checks. Now in the first pair of equality checks, we're comparing A1 to A2, and we're using the equality operator and the equals method. Because we know A1 and A2 are both the same value, we know that these are gonna evaluate to true, and we're gonna see the output in the console window of one and two. No surprise there. Now in the next set, we're comparing A1 to A4, again using the equality operator and the equals method. Now, because we know A1 and A4 are not equal and do not have the same value, we're not going to see any output to the console window. But we're also not going to see any errors either, even though A4 is a null value. Now, in the next series of checks, we're comparing A4 to A5, which are both nulls, again using the equality operator and the equals method. Now, using the equality operator, this line is going to evaluate, and we're going to see 5 in the output window. But what do you think is going to happen when we run the next check using the equals method? If you say we're going to get a null reference exception, then you're absolutely correct. And why is that? Well, that's where the differences start to come in. The equals method is an instance method, meaning it can only be invoked on an instance of a type. Now, because A4 is null, there is no instance. Now, remember, strings are a reference type, not a value type. Now, in this last equality check, we're using the type level equals method which takes in two strings. Now this line is gonna evaluate without issue and we'll see seven output to the console window. Now I'll explain why I bring this up in just a second. Now to understand what's going on, let's look at the decompiled string class, which I decompiled using ILSpy. Now first off, if we examine the equality operator, we see that it's just a static method. And all that is doing is returning the result of a call to yet another equals method. But if you notice, the equals method that it's calling out to is the same type level method that we are calling in the last equality check in our code example. And this is why we can compare null values using the equality operator. Now, if you look at the top, we see the code for the instance equals method. And if you look at the code between the instance method and the static method, you'll see that they're essentially doing the same equality checks. All right, so that's what's going on in the hood, and now you know what the differences are. All right, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button, or leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.